Hi guys, welcome back, it's Anna. All right, today I'm going to be doing my Olive Edition Traveler's Notebook setup. Hopefully I can get through this in one piece because this is the third time I've tried to film this. So I'm going to just jump right into it. I have been using this for, I think, a little over a week and it has scarred so nicely. Look at the scarring. I am not gentle with my notebooks. I throw them into my purse every day. They go everywhere with me and I love that the leather is on the drier side so it does scratch up nicely. Kind of gives it a lot of character. I'm just, I'm thoroughly enjoying this, uh, this notebook. And I am currently clipping into the pen loop the Papermate Inkjoy Gel in 0.7. That might change just because I don't know how this tests well in the 13, the number 13 insert that I love, which I'm going to be switching to soon. But uh, right now, that's just what I've got. But you'll see in the insert, um, well, you probably won't see, but I've used various uh, pens in my insert uh, journal number 101. I've used my Jane Austen ink, which I've uh, mentioned before. I've used various pencils because I'm really into pencils right now and um, so that's kind of where that's at. I kept the charm on the band simple. It's just a Tim Holtz one that says Journey just because in the next year, uh, 2018, I'm really hoping to do a lot more traveling. I love to travel and I don't get to do it often so and I am going to be traveling with this later this month, so stay tuned for a setup for that. But I just thought that that really represented uh, the remaining month of this year and next year pretty well. I like the charms on the band to be very simple and not bulky just because of where it sits. The bookmark is just like kind of like a fake crystal that I got in a set from the jewelry section, Joann's, Michael's, I can't remember, but... They were on sale and I liked it. It kind of just went well and it was just very simple. I really wanted the notebook setup to be very simple just because of, I think the inspiration for the Green Olive edition was like Henry David Thoreau. And I really wanted that simplicity to just kind of translate into my setup itself. Um, I have the pen loop on there, very smooth leather. I kept the photos the same, although I think I might be changing some of that out just because I've started developing a lot more of my photos from this past year. So that hasn't really changed much, but the zip pouch has. I've emptied most of the contents in here, so it's nice and flat and not bulky. I used to keep so many things and stickers in there and I wasn't using it, so I thought it was high time to empty most of that out. I have a five pence coin in there, some Satalier London stickers, picture of myself in Bath, and then I still keep the journal card that says, when you love what you have, you have everything you need, because I think it's just still great motivation in my stationary minimalism journey, which is constant. It's not like it's just one of those things that I'm going through as a phase. I have the brass Midori clips on the top here. One big change has been the craft text folder that I used to have. It added a lot of bulk and it was really thick. So I changed that out for the Traveler's Notebook craft folder. So that way uh, it's a lot slimmer. And it's also got the slot here that I can slip things in and easily grab from. The only things I have in the front pocket here are just the clear sticky pockets from Traveler's Notebooks and develop photos of things that really inspire me. I'm gonna change that out too fairly soon. Now that I've got more film, I can print out some photos that I've saved and I've wanted to just keep in here. I love looking at photos like that just to inspire me when I'm not feeling very creative. Currently, this is journal 101. I haven't stamped it yet, didn't get a chance. And I'm actually finishing this up pretty soon. I've got like two pages left in it. And um, so that's going to be gone soon. In the back, I still have the grid paper because after this, I'm going to be moving into the thir number 13 insert, which is 
um, my favorite and then I use this as like a guideline to keep my sentences straight. In the back here I've got just some stamps. I always find I need stamps when I'm on the go for some reason. Um, and then these I recently slipped in here because I was cleaning out my recollection recollections planner. Um, so just some stickers and washi sticker sheets. I am finally getting around to using those Traveler's Notebook um, double-sided tape tabs. Very handy if you don't want to carry around a glue stick or like a tape runner. This is like no bulk at all. And then I've got my 2017 Traveler's Notebook Special Edition stickers, which I'll probably never use because they're gorgeous and I only have one set. So that slips easily into here. No bulk at all, which I'm trying to keep. This is cleaned out as well. All I've got is a London tube map. You know, I love to keep that there to remind me of my favorite place. Got some glassine bags and a random $2 bill because I thought that was fun and just cool to keep here because you don't see those very often but there's nothing in the back pocket here same photos for the other side of the business card holder but like I said those uh, some of it might change out I still have the 2016 writing board for traveler's notebook which I don't mind I don't need to have the latest one uh, the this one works just fine but what it does is it helps to kind of eliminate the the little nub right here when I'm writing as well as act as a kind of like a hard surface for when I'm stamping, which is um, makes it more of an even stamp. And if you're going to meetups or if you're on the go, it's a great place for you to stick on stickers or washi tape that you want to save that you don't have anywhere to stick to um, if you're not inclined to use them right away. That's a tip for you as like a to-go sticker board. So as you can see, not, I mean, there's been some minor changes, but I'm a creature of habit. I like things simple. And for a while I did bulk up my traveler's notebook quite a bit, but right now I just like having less to carry. It's got everything I need. I'm not doing major journaling, journaling when I'm out and about. So this really has worked for me. It comes with me to work. It goes with me when I'm out shopping and I think I might have like a moment to grab at a cafe, but um, that is my Traveler's Notebook Setup Olive Edition, and I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you are doing very well and having fun in your own journals, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!